That's why we come out here on these highways and byways now. This is the grace period, man. This is the time to get right. You know? This is the time to put push forward, put your best foot forward. And hope that you're part of that elect, man, that you've been chosen, man. You know? This is Jeremiah 5 and 1. It says, run you to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. What's Jerusalem? Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the, 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 uh, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. Right? It's the people before it's the place. So in uh, 2 Maccabees 5 and 19 chapter, Jerusalem is, is, is the house of Israel, man. He said, run to and, to and fro. Run you to and fro through the streets. In the broad places, right? In the open, open of the gates, we in the city, right? It says in the broad places thereof, if you can find a man, it says if you can find a man, if there be any that execute judgment that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. So we come out here week in and week out to see if it's just one man that's looking for uh for the truth, man, who's seeking the truth. We make ourselves available on these corners, man. We make ourselves a sacrifice to the Lord to come stand out here. You see if it's just one man, man, trying to seek the Lord, man. Believe me, you have way more people passing by. You know, walking by, fan in their hands, they, they just walk by. They don't they don't consider. You know? And there be of our people also. You know, um, I get that. Isaiah one. Isaiah chapter one, verse three. It says, "The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib." It says, but Israel, but Israel does not know, my people does not consider. So he's comparing Israel to two basically like stubborn animals. He's comparing Israel to an ox, right? And a, and a, and a, and a donkey, right? All the ox know is to what? You strap him up and all he knows is he pulls, man. But he knows, he knows where he, where, who his master is. A donkey knows where his, his feeding trough is, right? But it says, Israel, my people do not know, right? They don't understand. Israel does not understand that their feeding trough is the scriptures. You know, they don't understand that the trough that they supposed to eat out of or the camps, when you see a camp set up on the street and brothers uh, pushing the scriptures with, pushing the scriptures in true doctrine in the right way, that's the trough, man, that you come eat at. But Israel don't even consider it, man. They don't even know, man. This is the trough right here, man. You know? It says, ah, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. They weigh down with iniquities, man. Layers and layers of iniquities stacked up on Israel, and they're weighed down by it, man. You know? And it says, Ah, a sinful nation, a people lay with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, for they have forsaken Yahweh, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. They are gone away backwards, man. So they've turned themselves from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. They turn themselves from him, man. You know? Come up, boy. You come up, son. Yeah, yeah. They turn themselves away from you. How about you, Yahweh Shai, man? So that's why we come out on the highways and byways week in and week out, like the scripture said in Jeremiah 5, man. We come out here to see if, if it just be one man that comes seek the Lord, man. If it's just one man, man. 
They come out and seek the Lord, you know. But now what Israel want to do, they want to be like Esau. Proverbs 11 and 11, 11 and uh, 21. You know, our people want to, you want to, you want to be with Esau. You want to, you want to be hand in hand with Esau. You want to follow Esau and, 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 and be of his, be just like him, man. You know, ain't nowhere to put it. Y'all want to be Esau, man. When you look around, it's, he, he has everything right now. But this scripture right here says, uh, Proverbs 11 and 21, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, but the seed of righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered, man, into prosperity. The seed of the righteous are the Israelites. Though you join hand in hand with him, hey, the wicked ain't gonna go unpunished, and so are the wicked, the wicked of our people, two thirds of our people. You want to join hand in hand with Esau, man? It's gonna be a, a, a it's gonna be a, a hellacious day, man. When he get destroyed, and you right along with him, you know. Esau ain't gonna live forever. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart. Heart is a Hebrew word, la, meaning mind. So everyone is proud in your mind and haughty. It says, is an abomination to Yahweh. So it's an abomination for you to be proud. It says, though he, though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So the proud man is Esau, right? He ain't gonna go unpunished. So if you walk and help join in hand in hand with him, the Lord gonna punish you also, man. You know. Job 9 and 24. Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? So who, who rules basically everything when you see when you uh, look at uh, the bankers who are the bankers so-called white men they are the top bankers of the planet they run the banks man who runs the, uh, the diamond district who runs the media who runs all the sports outlets and the sports uh, uh, teams the so-called white men Who's, who's in charge of all the air, the rail, the sea, the land, the transportation, so-called white men. The majority of the CEOs, probably 98% of the CEOs in America, are white men. You know? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. In this particular period of rendition of time, Particularly, Eon, Esau is ruling. 1493 he came back in the Renaissance, man. He been ruling since then. He been ruling about 569 or 70 years, and that time is up. Right? That his time is up, man. This is Second Ezra. Second Ezra uh, six. Second Ezra six and eight, and it says, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac and to Jacob, and Esau was born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, meaning this is symbolic of what we're going to pull them down. We're going to pull Esau down with the help of who? Yahweh Shai. Because we can't pull Esau down without the help of our big brother, Yahweh Shai. Because he said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. His blessing was a sword in Genesis 27 chapter, man. That was his blessing. Esau has uh, all the nuclear capability. 
Esau could wipe out neighborhoods. He could wipe out this whole place, man, in one push of the button. So we can't come up against uh, Esau no carnal way in this state that we in right now. What we doing now, we're coming up against him with the scriptures and we letting him know prophecy. We let him know that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is coming to destroy him and his way of life. That's why we out here. Our big brother is getting ready to destroy Esau, man, and change his water over, man. His time is up. And that's why we come out. He said, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right? He said Esau is the end of the world. So when Esau's world is finished, people like to say, oh, well, if it's World War III and everything get destroyed, the Chinese gonna take over. No, the scriptures say Jacob is the beginning of that which follow. So when Esau goes down, right? And Esau is the Edomites, when he go down in America, Jacob is gonna take over. And we're going to put the rest of you Edomites that are on the other side of the world, we're going to put y'all in slavery, man. That is your, that's your, um, that's your uh, future, Esau, is being slavery. And I get that. It's Isaiah 14 chapter. Isaiah 14, so like it. 14 and 1. It says, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. Right? Jacob is the second son of Isaac. He was the chosen one. Right? He the one that got the blessing. Yaiqua. Right? Meaning supplant. Jacob. 